James Gunn took to social media to show off a wall in his DC office as they're getting more things underway for Superman Legacy. And a lot of people are taking interesting notes of the issues he's picked to show off because they might just be important to the direction that this series is going in. So the one notable one that sticks out immediately that's not related directly to Superman but sort of is, is Supergirl World of Tomorrow which is on the second row down all the way towards the end because we know they're using that as an actual kickoff point and the story that they're going to be using for her film which is following in a couple of years. But the bigger picture here is if you look at this there's a lot of stories where it's just Superman being Superman. Like, take note of it, right? You're not seeing a lot of covers where it's big name villains and all these things going on like Doomsday and, you know, all the big heavy hitters that could technically bring Superman to his knees, Giant Metallo or whatever. Now, there's been some discussion online whether this is directly sort of teasing what could happen. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe Superman doesn't have any super villains he faces in the sequel, right? Then we're back into the old Superman criticism, especially Superman Returns, right? So I don't think you want to do that. I think more or less what we're seeing here is them sort of teasing some of the influences they're pulling in for not just Superman in general and the direction of the film, but like the tone, the feeling right you guys get what i'm saying like they're looking at all of these right here saying well here is the feeling of superman when he's at his most human like there's covers here obviously with lois lane and there's covers here where you look at it and superman is depicted more human like right not just this godlike creature and you see him in some compromising situations as well so I think that there's a lot you can get from this if there is anything to be gotten from it. And I think what it's teasing is a character study more than anything else. And if that's the case, maybe it's a great film, but I could see a knee-jerk backlash reaction because of lack of action. Especially from the people that love the amount of action you got in the last version of Superman.